हेलो डियर लर्नर्स आई एम बालाजी होप यू आर फाइन इन दिस टूडेज शॉर्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू अबाउट वन विक्टोरियन प्रोलिफिक पोएट एंड हीज वन पोएम दैट इज ग्रामरियंस फ्यूनरल होप यू यू हैव रीड समथिंग हर्ड समथिंग अबाउट दिस प्रोलिफिक पोएट विक्टोरियन prolific poet robert browning robert browning was a philosopher poet and uh, he invented a particular genre called uh, dramatic monologue he and uh, lord tennyson were expert at uh, this genre that is uh, a dramatic monologue Robert uh, Browning was born on May 7th in 1812 in Walworth London and he died on 12 December 1889 at Venice in Italy He was a Victorian English poet and playwright he had mastery over dramatic monologue he was made a governor of london university for life his notable works are men and women the ring and the book dramatic lyrics dramatic romance and lyrics the poem was the poem which poem the dramatic monologue the poem was published in men and women in 1855 it's a eulogy that is a praise or a tribute to someone who had just died and the theme of the poem is understanding life before living it love for learning respect and honor greatness versus prudence these are the uh, central ideas or central themes of the poem a grammarian's funeral a grammarian's funeral is a very popular poem is a very well known poem it is widely read and widely appreciated by readers and poets it uh, contains a great message the message is that the theme is that whether man's life should be great or joyful whether man should have a happy life or a great life this is the crux in this poem this is the question in this poem to be studied or to be thought over in this poem there is a speaker and he is a disciple of a of an accomplished grammarian and uh, he is the representative of all the disciples and he is describing life of his master that is the accomplished grammarian this grammarian studied day night he studied grammar greek grammar right from his childhood to his last moment or till his death he only studied and studied he thought that this life is a test to live a better life after death he believes in life after death rather than the life now at present he also strongly believes that one should contribute to the society to the welfare of the society one should live a life for the betterment of the society for a great cause for the society one should not be selfish and one should always strive hard work hard because we are going to be given the justice and honor on the basis of our work in this life 
on the basis of our contribution done given in this life on earth so this grammarian prefers to understand life before living it actually life is to be lived not to understand because life is very complex there are many complexities in life one cannot understand life thoroughly from every angle from every dimension from every aspect so life whether it is animal's life bird's life or man's life life is a life and it has to be lived it is to be lived it is to be enjoyed right to the fullest and not to be studied not to be understood but it is simply to be lived and it is up to us how to live it whether to live it happily or unhappily sadly or joyfully it completely depends on us on our mind right so our brain our mind is a very very tiny speck to understand the life to understand the universe so it should be lived rather than to understand one more theme in this poem the central theme of this poem is love for learning the grammarian has a great love for learning he was a voracious reader very hard working he believed only in knowledge he wanted to stand out of the crowd from the crowd so he studied day night neglecting his health his health began to fail his head grew a bald baldness his eyes became like lead but still he did not stop his learning he pursues he pursued his learning his reading study day night correct is this life worth living only studying and studying and studying and ignoring all the world around us yes this is the question to be solved in this question and it is up to the reader readers are going to decide whether the grammarian's life was right or wrong whether he led the life rightly or not correct one more theme or question in this poem is respect and honor whether the whether the people like grammarian should be honored respected or not if they should be respected why they should be respected if they deserve the honor from society or not right and one more question to be discussed in this poem is greatness versus prudence was the grammarian prudent enough of course he was a great man he spent his life for a great reason for a great cause neglecting his health his personal life he sacrificed his personal joys happiness he was very dedicated devoted towards his study he made the work easy for others he discovered many rules certain several rules certain rules he wrote books theories and all that for the generations coming after him definitely but was he prudent enough was he going to have two lives no he had only one life and that is the final life though he believed in the life after death but the reality is that there is no life after death right he believed in life after death but what is the fact what is the reality 
no there is no life this only one life is a full life first and last life for any human being or for any animal or bird correct we cannot have the same life again so one should live the life fullest and while living the life whatever great work whatever good we can do we should do we should do that but it does not mean that we should do only good and good for the society and for the world neglecting our own life neglecting our health or joy sacrificing our joys our family and all that this is not prudent this is not called prudence right yes so this is the message we get from this poem and obviously definitely certainly such a great personality such a great souls deserve respect from the society why because they have spent their entire life their whole life for a good reason for a good cause they deserve respect they deserve honor for their sacrifice for the betterment of for the uh, for the good of society and all that right one should spend our life for a good reason for a good cause one should not be selfish and one should not be completely uh, indulgent or indulge in only merry making or in uh, enjoying things around us but at the same time we should be useful and helpful for the people around us for the society around us for the country in which we are living or the a town or the uh, village wherever we are living we should not be harmful but we should we should be helpful and uh, useful for the society not just for the society for everyone for every living being around us it it could be birds it could be animals trees humans uh, you know even non living objects like rivers mountains and all that correct such a life such a life is always praised and uh, appreciated and uh, and and commended right in this poem his disciple is uh, telling the biography of his master grammarian the master his master grammarian had just died and uh, he and his fellow friends are carrying his dead body to the hill top to the highest uh, place on the mountain they want him to be buried far away from the common life from the hustle and bustle of common life common man's life because he was great he was outstanding in his knowledge and surely certainly he deserved an outstanding place a different place a different spot to be buried so they choose hill top the topmost uh, spot of the mountain for his grave for his for his final uh, rites or for his funeral and they are carrying his dead body to the hill top and during the procession uh, his disciple is uh, describing his entire life his hard work his sacrifice and all that his personality and all that when they reach the gate of the town again there he says that he deserves a different place he is not a common man he is a extraordinary man he is an extraordinary man he deserves so definitely he deserves to be far away from the common man and common man's uh, graveyard he should not be buried where the common men are buried but he should be buried somewhere somewhere where he will find his culture right so they choose the place uh, for his burial on the top most uh, on the top of the mountain where the sun rays reach first 
where the meter shoot and uh, where the lighten lightning is loosened where the raindrops fall first and all that because he should be uh, the first to receive all these natural uh, energies or natural gifts uh, right because in this way nature should also respect him first right because he spent his life for others not for himself but for others for the society for the community for the people around him right so he deserves respect honor and also a higher place because uh, he was a man of higher thinking and uh, he he deserves uh, what the higher respect than others right so his disciples choose the place which is the topmost uh, uh place on a mountain right just to uh, show that he was a different man extraordinary man a great man and accordingly he should be given the place and respect yes yeah, this is the summary of this poem in short hope you understood so the question in this poem is that whether a man's life should be great or happy it is up to the readers up to you whether to lead a life happily or great yes and both are equally appreciated if man's life is great it is also appreciated but usually most of the people choose or prefer a happy life over great life right that is why they are ignored they are uh, neglected but only those who prefer great life over happy life are respected honored even after their death though they are dead though they are no more yet they are alive in the hearts of the people right so great life is always better than a happy life right it depends on everybody's thinking some people not some most of the people think that happy life is better than great life because we have only in one this life to live correct whether the people uh, talk negatively or positively about us after our death that is not our concern or it doesn't have anything to do with us right once we are dead uh, we are dead and we cannot uh, hear their uh, criticism and uh, their appreciation so we should not bother about people's uh, uh, what appreciation and criticism but we should live our life happily yes this is uh, also uh, true and, uh, we should live the life uh, great way because that also matters a lot hope you understood the central theme of the poem uh, a grammarian's funeral thank you so much have a great day ahead bye